Hey, I'm gonna shoot the new Polaroid uh, reclaimed green, but I'm setting rules for myself on this one. So in this video, we're gonna stay in this room. You may recall a few months ago that I did a similar home experiment with the Polaroid yellow and black film, which I really like in low light. And in fact, I've done some tests with new reclaimed green stuff. I shot a pack before making this video, shot some during the day, and I shot some in a, a less well-lit space. And just like the yellow and black Polaroid film, I really prefer it in lower light because I like how the shadows and the highlights interact. I'm not really a big fan of how it looks in bright daylight. Just the greens are kind of bleh. It's not like almost, just not a fan. I waited till it became dark. I turned my lights in here green for really no reason other just to make this look cool because the film is green. It doesn't really matter what color we shoot. It's more about the creative ideas that I come up with in our living room. Okay, so for my first idea, I'm gonna utilize our TV and do a double exposure thing, as I, you know, like to do. Okay. So, uh, yeah, she's in front of the TV centered. I'm gonna shoot a double exposure of her looking at the TV, but I'm gonna meet her for the highlights so that hopefully her silhouette is more in shadow. So let's try this. Ooh, this may not work. You may have to get closer to the TV. Okay, uh, go up to the TV. That'll do it, okay. Put your head toward me a little bit. No, 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 sorry. Don't turn it, like lean your head. There we go, perfect, excellent. Ready, set. So yeah, um, if you were curious, it has a green base. I don't know, that's probably not that shocking, but um, yeah, this is what it looks like when it comes out. So it's, it's definitely green. So for the next idea, uh, for the longest time, since the day I started using the Polaroid i2, uh, I have loved that it has a 49 millimeter filter thread. You can just put a basic 49 millimeter filter on this camera and I do it often. Now I have this thing, which is a 49 millimeter filter thread but to make it like a fisheye kind of wide angle thing. And the reason I don't use it on this is because it screws on. But the reason it doesn't work is because it blocks the LiDAR focusing. So if you don't know what that means, the i2 shoots an invisible laser to focus, to like find your focus. And uh, when this is on there, that laser is like partially blocked. So that means that every time I use this, my photos are out of focus, but I'm determined to try it. So tonight I'm gonna do it, I have an idea. Basically what I'm gonna try to do is I'm gonna try to get focus, I'm gonna half press the shutter, find my focus, and then put this over it, then shoot the photo so that I can fix focus. Now, changing this to wide angle, I don't know. It may screw it up, it may screw up the whole thing. Don't know if that's gonna work, but we're gonna try it. Okay, so basically what I'm gonna have you do for this one is I'm gonna have you reach. I'm gonna be shooting from super low and I want you to like reach toward the lens and hopefully that'll give it like a warpy effect. Okay. So. Oh, oh. <laughs> I shook too much. It's a silly idea. So silly. It's a silly idea. Okay. I think I just will be in a better position. You may have to tiptoe. Okay, ready, go. Oh, perfect, right there. Okay, yeah, I won't be shaking as much. Ready, other hand, too. Make sure I mean, they're both here. Okay, right perfect, right there. All right, Let's see if that worked. Uh, the other benefit of this film is that because it's based on like black and white film, basically, uh, it develops pretty fast. So that's kind of nice. Uh, so far, I feel like these aren't working. I'm loving them so far. Experiment. That is true, it is an experiment. And I guess that's the point of experimenting is that you may fail. Now, I do uh, like this wall and the shadow cast here, so I think I'm gonna do something with it. Oh, that's kinda, that's kinda fun. Back up a little bit, like, okay. Now reach out toward the lens. Okay, make sure your hand 
Ten is in the light right there. Excellent. Okay, ready. Three, two, one. <laughs> Whoops. Okay, that's fine. That's fine. Uh, give me hands. <gasps> okay. Now, I want you to reach out. Turn around. Sorry. <laughs> reach out with your hand and put it out. Just to you. Yeah. I feel like Iron Man. No telling what that's going to be like. Okay. Uh, okay, so after looking through these, I think this one is actually pretty cool. I'm not really sure what is with the shadow there, because there's nothing blocking it, um, except unless I put the edge of the wide angle adapter over the lens, which is very possible. Um, this also is very cool, except I did that wide angle over the edge of the camera again. So I'm kind of, uh, I'm kind of getting hooked on really digging into that wide angle thing and doing some double exposures with that. So I think for this pack, I want to focus on that idea because I think it's really interesting. Uh, this one was an accident meant for it to be a double exposure, but the shadow is pretty cool. I do think that's neat. This one is what I actually meant to do. I think it's actually pretty good. Solid. Solid double exposure. Uh, this one was when I was laying on the ground. Ended up being too dark. Um, and then... These were the first ones where I tried to do the double exposure with the TV, and I just don't think that idea just really works that well. Um, and this one's still developing slightly, but this was the other TV one where I used her hand, and I just didn't frame it very well, and it's just a little haphazard. So we are going to we're going to dig into the wide angle adapter and see if I can get something cool with that accessory for this final pack. And then I'm probably gonna be done wasting packs, at least for today, at least for today. But you never know. I'm always open to wasting packs Polaroid film, as you know from watching this channel. We're back in the corner. So I'm gonna try to get the wide angle adapter to not block the frame this time. And uh, we'll, we'll see how that works. Great. <laughs> Excellent. <laughs> okay, ready? All right. I think what I was doing. Sorry, I'm not. I'm not <laughs> trying to disrespect you. I'm just. I was just trying to just make a right quick comment. I wasn't trying to disrespect you in any way. I'm sorry. I apologize. I think what I was doing was sticking the lens adapter over the viewfinder more than I was the lens, which made it visible. The wide angle part visible for me because the viewfinder is different than the actual lens. And so this time, I think it's going to come close to working. Maybe. We can try the TV thing. I have, a, I, I have an idea. Okay, but uh, look at me with the TV as the background. Huh. That one, I don't think your face is gonna be focused. It could be worse things. <laughs> that's not very nice. Don't be mean to yourself. Oh, that's cool with the TV in the background. That's actually turned out kind of neat. So I think the wide angle adapter will work if I just focus it before I stick it over the lens. I think it will work. Probably a different wide angle adapter I could get that doesn't take up as much space. I'm sure there is. Let me know in the comments if you know of a wide angle adapter that works on the i2 that doesn't block the LiDAR thing. That'd be cool if you could tell me what it is and I'll buy it. Uh, okay. Um, oops. Uh, one thing I'm learning from this experiment, though, i uh, got to be honest, is that uh, I'm not sure I like the color green. Which could be a problem for, you know, green film. Not my fave. Okay, uh, let's shine the light on my wife. I apologize, I shouldn't have said that. Yeah, that was... That was bad. Yeah, so it's a yellowish green, I think, because it's not supposed to be duochrome. So duochrome is like yellow and black. And so that's why in those photos, the highlights were like really crazy. And then the blacks were really dark. This is like 
a gradient of greens. Like, I think this is supposed to have, like... I guess it does look like that on the pack. Yeah. Like, it's kind of like the Reclaim Blue, how it just had, like, different blue tones. Um, but again, I think it's really only cool for my for my taste to be, like, more duochrome -y, like, black and green. But it's not fully black. It's, like, just dark shadows. So it's kind of got the, like, the new black and white Polaroid film that has like grays. This kind of has like, I don't know, the green version of gray. Does that make sense? That sounded dumb. You know what I mean. I um, don't. You, you, you don't. <laughs> they do. The viewers. I'm glad someone does. They should at least. Okay. I want to do this one again because this is cool. Like okay. ghost, ghost hands. So we're going to do that. Ooh, did it flash? It did. Oh, that's not good. Okay. <laughs> not <laughs> supposed to do that. Okay, ready? It might be cool. I don't know. You're covering. Yeah, I know, I know, I know, I know. I know. <laughs> Ready. Kind of scary look on your face. Yeah, we'll do it one more time. Kind of aggressive. What? Kind of aggressive. I just look like that when I take photos. Okay. You should know that by now. Very aggressive. It's a good thing you don't take very many pictures of people, I guess. <laughs> Why? Because I'm so aggressive. Because I scare them? <laughs> yeah. I do get like a crazy look in my eye. Your eyes are like real wide. Ghost hands. Okay, now try to grab the lens, like, <laughs> okay, but like from the sides, so you leave room in the middle. Okay, right? Yeah, that's good. That's good. That's good. That's good. That's good. <laughs> you have to see this one. You look insane in the TV one. Why does it look like my eyes are crossed? <laughs> I don't know. I don't know. That's pretty good. Somehow that's your favorite, I'm sure. That's my favorite one. It's the best shot we've done. Yeah. Oh, my word. <laughs> that's pretty good. I love it. I love it. Charlie XEX. Anna is brat. <laughs> oh, really? You don't think you're brat? I don't even know what that means. And I'm it's just sure like a thing. It's a state pretty of sure mind. I'm sure that it's past. I'm pretty sure that you're no. sounding like an old man by even saying that now. We've Are you passed serious? It. We've passed it. We haven't passed brat. She's got a new version of brat coming out this week. Mm. It's like a deluxe version of Brat. We're still very much in Brat. Leave a comment if you believe we're still in Brat. <laughs> I think Anna's Brat, personally. Maybe this green film, actually, green film, green film's kind of Brat, if you think about it. Yeah, I'm, I've only got a couple more in me, and then, uh... No, what are we talking about? You said I had one more two times ago. You gotta shoot one of me, I thought. You're gonna shoot one of me. I'll shoot one of you. You wanna do a double exposure? You've never shot a double exposure, have you? No, I'm sure I have. I've known you long enough to where that can't be the first time. So you're gonna shoot one of me now. What's your idea? What do you wanna do? Okay. Come on, be creative. Be creative, come on. Exercise. Extra, that's not, that's extra. not my thing. What, creativity? Yeah. I'm not gonna sit you in front of spreadsheets. Don't sit me in front of a camera and make me choose things. What do you mean? It's already going to be a learning curve to do, You're period. You're artist no. on this one. Well, I'm, I'm okay. I feel like I'm sweating. You are. I did notice some sweat on your forehead. Um, where is your camera? Right there. And, um... This is going to be a double exposure? I guess. Okay. Stand in front of the picture of Joshua... Joshua Tree. Okay, so, okay. Uh, With you, a light on you. You need a light on me? Yeah. Okay. This is gonna be like a Star is Born situation, like <laughs> where I blow you out of the water. Oh man, I wish. No, you don't. Because then you could fund me. I don't know. Like you're fully in front of this. I don't want you in the oh. corner. Oh, okay, okay. Uh-oh, you did something. Do you know how to use that thing? <laughs> no. <laughs> okay. Do I half press it yeah, or something? Yeah, you half press, yeah. But you have to, okay, so, hold on. You're, it's a range finder, which means you're only, you're looking through there. So if you shoot me and I'm in the center, I won't be in the center okay. because the lens is over here. So okay. you have to kind of like, kind of set me to this side of the frame more. What do you want me to do with my face, um, body? Look okay. straight ahead. At you or at yes. the lens? At the lens. The lens is like pointing in look my ear. Straight, look straight ahead. Okay. I'm going to help you out. I'm going to get in front of the lens. How about that? <laughs> I'll follow the lens. Sorry, okay. it's, just, it's just your face. It's just... <laughs> this is getting hurtful fast. 
Because you're too close, it's not gonna focus on me. <laughs> <laughs> it's a tough camera to use, isn't it? Do you want flash or you just want this light? I think just that light is okay, fine. Okay, so this is gonna do a really slow shutter, so you have to be, hold it really still. Things just, I'm great at. Things, all good things, all okay. good things. If only I could manual focus. <laughs> okay. You look, you're doing a mug shot. What do you want me to do? Why can't I get it to? Did you turn it off on accident? Yep, sure did. <laughs> Man, <laughs> this is, make sure the flash is off. Yeah, it's off, okay. <laughs> what? <laughs> you I'm always... sorry, but you opened your eyes really wide. I know. I was... And it kind of scared me. Okay, it's a double exposure. What's the second shot? Um, can I just do a picture of that and make it white? Yeah. Okay. Be my guest. I'll get out of frame. Wow. This will be interesting. This will be very Trust interesting. Me, if they see your eyeballs in any way, then it's going to be shocking. I'm allowed to show this on the thing, right? Show what? This picture? embarrassing photo oh. you just shot. Of you? Of me. Sure. Okay. Please. Oh wow, that it's is like that is almost like took a piece out of your face. Yeah, that is kind of cool. It's very deranged. I knew it would be because of your eyeballs. Yeah, that's extremely deranged. Wow, good job. Huh? Wow. Okay. Good. Stars born. <laughs> it's a it's a star is born situation. Yep. You will overtake me. What's your YouTube channel gonna be called? I think my favorite is the one I took of you. Honestly, is probably that one. The, the, but the second is the one I took of you. Is that what I heard you say? Yeah, or? yeah, yeah, for sure. So, what do I you heard. like this film? How do you feel about this film? I don't what's, mind it. Here, oh. come, come in the frame. What, what's, what's your review of this film? Um, I don't, I don't mind it. I like the purple one that you had better. You like the purple film? That doesn't exist. But so, Nick, let's try it. What's, let's try that again. Wait, what's your favorite Polaroid film that you've seen so far that exists? Black and white. Yeah, there we go. That's a, that's one that exists. You like that one? Mm-hmm. Yeah. Um, I will say though. <laughs> Sorry, it's like so condescending. <laughs> I apologize. I will say though, didn't you have some film that was purple? Even if it wasn't I did. Polaroid. It was okay. 35 millimeter film. Yes. Okay, thank you. I just want to make sure. It's Lomo purple. It, yep. it was cooler than this. As far right. as colored film goes. Do you like colored film? I don't know if I do like colored film. If I'm um, real. couldn't say that I think about it, but if I did, um, you don't think about colored film. I think generally. it'd be cool. Like red would be cool if they had it. Purple would be cool. Yeah. I liked the purple and the other thing. So. Yeah, that one didn't work at all. I should have had you more. This one did though. Let's show everybody. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, she wants everybody to see this one. I did take this one. This one. Um. Yeah, she. Not literally. But... So you're really impressed with that one. Well, aren't you? Yeah. Oh, tap. Yeah. Oh, very impressed. Looks okay. good. Okay. Yeah. Okay. I like how it looks like you've got like a little sprig of hair there. A little hair sprig? I do actually. Yeah, but not made out of Joshua Tree. Okay, well that's uh, enough for one video, Lifetime. I think. Uh, thanks for watching. <laughs> thanks, thanks for watching. You can follow me on Instagram at Will Malone. You can follow my Polaroid Instagram account at Everyday Instant. And uh, yeah, I guess I'll see you. I don't know, whatever.